What up YouTube, it's your man again, Mr. Me Too here. And today I have uh, my six key holder from Louis Vuitton. And I wanna share that with you guys. And this video is purposely made to help those who try to buy this um, used by somebody or what we normally know as a pre-love item. You can uh, watch this video and have it help you uh, make a decision and I really like the box itself. It's always really hard. The little pull tab here. This was picked up last year, or maybe a little over a year ago, from the Louis Vuitton store in um, Westfield, Topanga. I like this a lot because I wanted something to keep my key in there, so I decided to go with this. I'm just gonna go on and um, open this box. This comes with the dust bag if you decide to buy this from a louis store it might not come with this but when i bought this this is what it came with and go ahead and pull this out let's put this back into the box real quick as you can see on that side we have the you can see the louis vuitton right there and definitely once you open this up all right so if you can read this it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France initials in here I basically decided to go with this um, this color because it, it matches what we have in here or at least try to get closer to this color right here so that's why I went with this color and then here we have the uh, the key track for the key holder this right here is the, the slider this goes into right here this goes in this way so you always have this facing up not downwards towards your feet but this towards your head so this goes up and for you to slide this in you need to bring this up close so you guys can see this this can be pushed down so there's like a little lever right here that you can push down in order for you to uh, slide this in so I'm gonna do that right now actually before that let me just show you guys um, this Louis Vuitton right here Louis Vuitton has been embossed on that, very neatly done. Uh, I do like the stitching on here. And this indentation that you guys see here is definitely from this right here. So you have a Louis Vuitton on that. I've had this for a year and I use it every single day. In order for me to put this in here, I need to push this down. So I'm gonna, so just like that. Just kind of nudge it down a little bit. It all depends on what kind of car you have, what kind of car you drive. If you drive um, anything like a car that requires you to take out a key and open with the key itself and you need the key to start the engine, that is definitely going to be um, a little bit of challenge. Um, it will also uh, make the wear and tear on this very different. You guys can see the discoloration it also shows in the bottom it but based on the size of the compartment you know once it's closed that's what it looks like there's two different keys as you can see on the side it will definitely change the form of this this key without the rings it looks like you know it would be okay but this is what it looks like with a Honda key you know obviously once it hangs in it will be a little bit maybe somewhere here I'm gonna try to get this going. So I wouldn't waste a lot of you guys' time. Key also. So let's see this on the side right here. Okay, this is like really tight. It doesn't have much room for it to move. So, um, so that's something to keep in mind compared to this, you know, where it has a lot of room to move around and stuff. So if I put it in this way or that way, all you gotta do is Put that in that way, clips in, you can just move that along, Keep the second key right in the middle, alright, so that's how I like to keep the second one, and then for my last key, which is going to be this, I'll definitely put this towards the end, and then once I have all that taken care of, I'll just slide this in, and it snaps at the end, this is not going to come out, Again, like I said, you will have to push this down a little bit. So you push it down so, and then you can slide. And if you want to go back, just push it 
and then as you can see this is gonna move a little bit up so it keeps this definitely in place and it's not gonna slide out if I were to keep this tool in here as you can see I cannot close that another thing that I uh, mentioned before also is even just having having this key in here you can see how long this key extends out which is definitely not gonna work in here so let's take this one out close that up and now this is okay to close now the reason why mine looks like this is because um, obviously I use it a lot so yours is not gonna look the same it won't look this will usually be like about somewhere here there's a little compartment here this can also hold about two but that's not something I want to recommend to anybody to do because it, it deforms the inside I usually put my driver's license um, behind this all right so this where to you locate the serial number for this it's gonna be in the bottom so the opposite end of this uh, let's see I don't want to damage this thing or extend it you can see a little bit of red right there towards the bottom there that's where the serial number is for this uh, piece by this also there's an option for you to get the hot stamp like I do have here so again this is very practical for me this is something I use every day and the reason why I decided to go with the six and not the four is because this is a little bit wider than the four and it could definitely hold hold this key and uh, two more keys without it looking super bulky so I decided to go with that and the fact that I can keep the card in the back here the uh, wear and tear on this hasn't been bad right there hopefully you guys can see that so as you can see it is really in a great condition I try to take good care of my stuff uh, just in case I decide to part ways with it I can it can go to a good home where somebody will definitely appreciate how well it's been taken care of and out of all the Louis Vuitton colors this is definitely my favorite yes very practical something that I feel will help somebody if you decide to pick this up um, you know pre-love or slightly used if you decide to pick this up on eBay or Amazon anywhere else you can buy legit or supposedly legit stuff these are the things to look for about this hope this video really helps if you guys like this video make sure you click on the like and subscribe for more videos like this